Hey guys, welcome to another fun and exciting Iron Mike GT7 stream. This is the um, Manufacturer's Cup at Mountain Trail, Group 3 cars in Manufacturer's Cars. Um, so again, I'm with Mazda. Um, this is the GT2 race, 11 laps, 1 times fuel, so that's heaps of fuel, and 6 times tyre wear. So a bit of a stretch to go the whole 11 laps without changing tyres. Um, there is a mandatory pit stop, so you should see everyone pitting at least once. Um, and then during the week I realise um, if you're going to pit you might as well change tyres halfway through. Um, my setup, as you can see I'm flicking through my settings. Um, traction control 2, brake balance minus 5 to the front, um, ABS on weak I believe and the, the other assist I have off um, and again I am I thought this season I'm going to try and qualify properly um, the round before which I've forgotten where it was um, yeah I've forgotten where it was but oh that's right Dragon Trail um, qualified 15 out of 16 and now I've done a proper qualifying here 16 out of 16 dead last hmm anyway I'm not going to talk through the whole stream personally I feel like this round was slightly boring um, might be because of me but having looked at other people's races there's there's some overtaking, but not a hell of a lot. It's almost like a Monza. It's just bizarre. You know, you start up near the front, you'll probably finish up near the front. Start near the back, you'll probably finish near the back. Um, so this was the first race of the day for me. Um, so yeah, I guess you're always hoping someone might go the whole 11 laps without pitting. Um, but no. Looks like everyone does the right thing. So anyway, I'm not going to spend all day talking about me in this race because I do consider it slightly, slightly boring. Um, and I guess one thing is, uh, so my strategy was to pit on lap 5, um, change tyres and then do 6 laps to finish it off. Um, to go six laps there's a risk of you being undercut so go five so five and then six that was the original idea but at this moment I was thinking am I being held up by this crowd of cars should I maybe pit on lap four for example but as I'm heading towards lap five I actually found I'm that they, they are holding each other up but I'm not actually catching them you know, like I'm not right on their tails looking for a pass. Um, I'm generally, genuinely um, trying here. There might be moments like this where I, I relax a bit and I back off because I think I've caught up. It won't be too long, there'll be a mistake and I'll start passing cars. But yeah, Japanese, they're, they're quite well behaved, they're quite orderly, um, they're quite fast. Um, so, like I said, I don't want to talk about me all the time. Um, I'd like to get on to another topic, and that is the Japanese. Now, I find that when I'm racing in nations, I can actually do quite well. I think Australians are, I don't know, what is it, lazy? Not putting in a, a lot of effort, and so they're easy to, to race against. But you move into manufacturers where you're involved with the Asian region, Obviously, there's a hell of a lot more people. I'm trying to work out why. I think it's the numbers. If the numbers are greater, the challenges um, are a bit more intense. And so they race better. Um, I just picture myself living in the Philippines or Japan. Um, my rating, I think, would drop because they're, they're pretty good. So if this was a Nations, I'd probably comfortably start at the back and work my way up to the middle of the pack or, or heading towards the front because of mistakes, because of 
too much excessive um, battling that people do here in the Australasian region, Australia, New Zealand. Whereas these guys keep it clean and remain fast. And if they get major damage or they're struggling because of tyres, they seem to pull aside and let people pass, I believe, if they've got the same flag. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I like the Japanese. I think they're, um, you know, they're really good drivers. And, and in the earlier days, when I used to practice for a race, I used to get a strategy set up and then I used to hop into a lobby and I used to intentionally look for Japanese drivers mainly because they're very respectful um, so you can see here we're only on lap 3 um, and I was thinking should I pit early because I might be catching up to them and here they are just slowly pulling away uh, just incredible so the guy in P16 I think he yeah he would have pitted mate I think he pitted lap 1 or 2 so but I did notice he was I think 20 seconds behind me and then he's slowly catching and it started to get me worried maybe I should pit before he really catches me um, but I thought well these guys are not in my way I'm just hanging on so the idea of pitting early means my tyres in the second stint will be worse so I really um, held off from Hitting early, and the the more we got uh, got into it, the more I was conf confirming with myself it will be lap five. Hopefully, you like the livery, guys. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to mix up my livery. So this one, I don't know if it's a Jinx Vodafone. Um, it's not dial-up broadband on it, so hopefully that's not what's slowing me down. I did originally. Um, I feel like I've wasted a bit of my week of practicing. I just instantly dropped into the uh, Mazda RX Vision. And it was probably Thursday night, Friday. I think it was Thursday night. I realised, oh, hang on, there's the Atenza. I haven't practiced with that. Well, I did a few practice laps and it was marginally quicker. And I thought, right, it's the Atenza. It's got to be the Atenza. So I spent a lot of the week practicing in the Vision, only to end up in the Atenza. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. It reflects the race itself. So again, I started P16 and I'm P14 at the moment. There's two other guys, Jezza, who's behind me. I think he um, he span his car, so he drops back. And then there's another guy, Porsche or something R Rorsha I think the person's name is um, maybe in P8, 9 or 10 somewhere like that anyway um, I'm just going to leave it at that just uh, fast forward if you want I don't mind this race can get a bit too much um, but anyway thanks for watching please uh leave a like and a comment if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, I do appreciate it and uh, yeah if you're out there streaming as well looking forward to seeing your streams as well as always alright guys so uh, I guess we'll see you in um, Road Atlanta Michelin Road Atlanta so um, Saturday night at the moment probably tomorrow I'll hop on there and start seeing what I can do but yeah I get the feeling that I'm better in nations than I am in the um, manufacturers because the Asian region is much tougher yeah incredible anyway again I'm gonna leave it at that so uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye for now